Hi, this is Trent with Metageek. In this video, I would like to talk about the time frame selection in IPA. Similar to Metageek's Channelizer products, you are able to select a window of time and the rest of the views will update to that time query. To do this in IPA, you simply grab one of the handles and move it inward. It'll take IPA a little bit to recalculate what the multi-layer pie charts will look like as it parses through the PCAP file. What's interesting in this capture is we notice that there was a high amount of bytes sent. And in IPA, we can actually hover over the SSID and we can see which client was sending the highest amount of traffic. Apparently, this client was sending a total of 7 million bytes and had a retry rate of 38.9% and had a data rate of 6.3 megabits per second. We can move the time frame to a different point in time when it looks like this client was no longer passing any data. We're seeing a lot of purples in the byte screen as well as in the time screen as well. So I've switched the multi-layer pie chart to mostly look at the amount of airtime all of the packets took to be sent. We can see that the beacons that were sent by EJP take up a higher amount of airtime, but this is because this is all of the packets that we're seeing, most of it's inactive. In the time frame window navigation, you can click and drag the entire time frame, or you can move individual slices. While it's loading, you can still adjust it and it will, and it will adjust to whatever you have sent. Keep in mind that you can do it while it's loading, and it will recalculate as fast as it can. The smaller the time window, the faster it will load in the multi-layer pie chart. 